Let the receipt show Cuba Cooding Jr. might be in trouble. Looks like he was partying a little too much. Got a little handsy, which is the, probably the reason why this woman says he groped her. Um, TMZ is reporting touching thighs and breasts in a public area, especially during Me Too season, which is every year now. Uh, not the best move for the Academy Award winner. So reports have it around 10.45 p.m. on Sunday night, Cuba Gooding Jr. and his girlfriend were sitting on a couch at a New York City rooftop lounge, right? There was a woman who is the alleged accuser who sat down next to them. Almost immediately, according to the video that is found on TMZ.com, you could see Gooding reached over to Miss Claudine, that's the accuser's name, and placed his hand on her left thigh. A few seconds later, his hand moved up to her breast. That's when the accuser allegedly put her hand on his. What happens next is up to your interpretation. You have to watch the video. She either pushes his hand back toward him or he pulls her hand to his mouth and kisses it. Another guy walks over, starts gyrating. Everybody's a little handsy, having some fun. So it could be miscommunication or he got a little too comfortable. This may not be looking good for Cuba Gooding Jr. Again, the receipts show it all. So good luck getting out of this one, player. Kim Kardashian is at the warehouse, uh, warehouse was at the White House <laughs> announcing a partnership that will help release prisoners and help them get job interviews. Uh, she's taking on this new initiative towards a criminal justice reform, um, and she's not taking it lightly. According to the Jasmine brand, the reality star business mogul ventured out to make a difference in the legal system years ago. She's still taking steps to improve uh, the criminal justice reform, and in her latest attempt, according to the website, Kardashian paid the White House a visit to discuss the criminal justice with uh President Donald Trump. The two stood side by side. Kardashian spoke with uh, about her ideas to help make it easier for inmates who leave prison to enter the workforce. Um, she just says it's an honor to be here. Her whole journey with the criminal justice reform started about a year ago when she came to see the president after speaking to Ivanka and Jared, who really fought for me to get here. I pled to, uh, I pled the case of Alice Johnson, who the president granted clemency to, and after I really spent so much time going to different prisons because I really have no connection to anybody on the inside and really felt it was for me. Um, and uh, at that place right now in my life that I wanted to make a difference and just wanted to do the right thing. So she onto something good here? I guess so. Congratulations to Kim Kardashian West. You can't free everybody though, Kim K. Seriously, you don't want to free the wrong person. I'm, so, I'm just saying. And this has actually been going on for a long time from advocates across the globe. So it's just major news because it's Kim Kardashian West, which is pretty cool. Uh, remember about a week ago, about a week ago, a week ago, I told you Apollo Nida was out of prison and in a halfway house. Guess what? He's back in the halfway house. He violated his parole that fast. It can happen. Um, it doesn't state what he did, but according to reports, NIDA broke a list of requirements set for his halfway stay. He had a list of rules to follow. Um, this is according to The Blast. Uh, while living in the halfway home, and they're told that he broke technical requirements pertaining to the rules of his release. It's unclear exactly what role he violated, but it was enough to alert authorities and get him thrown back in the slammer. He's going to report, he reportedly will remain behind bars for the entirety of his original sentence uh, back in October 2019. So he has two children with Phaedra Parks. They have, they were married and divorced in 2017. Um, Nida continues, as he continues his sentence, uh, Phaedra Parks, who was also an attorney, opened up about visiting her ex in prison with the kids. Um, she just says, you know, we know about him. They don't really see him that much. It is what it is, so... I, I don't know. She's dealing with her own issues, I guess. I don't know if she's taken them to see uh, their father yet. I know that she was against that. So, yeah. That's it.